When you're a student, you imagine that science is all the things you know. It's the things in books, it's the facts and figures, it's the formulas. But I learned that science is actually the things we don't know. Science is the puzzles and the open questions. And scientists are the detectives trying to solve those puzzles. I grew up in Bozeman, Montana, which is a glorious mountain town in the Rocky Mountain West. And I grew up hiking and skiing and traveling down to Yellowstone National Park and just really enjoying the out of doors. So when I went to university, and because I was interested in being outside, I took a geology class. And it was awesome. The reason we're interested in the planet three million years ago is because atmospheric carbon dioxide was about the same level it is now as a result of human activities. But there were some key differences. The big one is that there was much less ice on the planet, and that means sea levels were higher, maybe up to 20 meters. And it's important for us to understand the response of that ice to a warmer planet because so much of humanity lives within just a few meters of sea level. There's a drill ship, the Joides Resolution, that's like, it's like a space shuttle for geoscientists. And that ship can, can drill in three or four or five or six kilometers of water. And once we reach the seafloor, we drill hundreds of meters into the sediment. It's an amazing thing to crack open one of these cores. They go on a saw and you saw them in half and then you go and the two halves split open. And there you have the history of the planet. Uh, like some of the cores, three centimeters will represent the vanishing of the sea ice and will travel through summer into autumn, and then the sea ice returns and the system shuts off. One of the cruises I was on, we recovered core from the Cretaceous tertiary boundary. That's where the dinosaurs went extinct. So the next big thing for me is investigating how East Antarctica warmed coming out of the last ice age. So I'll be looking at the last 12 to maybe 10,000 years using two great marine sediment cores. And I'm so grateful to the L'Oreal Fellowship for giving me the resources to employ an excellent lab assistant who's gonna help me process the thousands of samples required to create the best records we possibly can. That element right there. I became a geologist because I was inspired by some really incredible faculty. They've been doing the boomer work and... Uh... And coming to Otago represents a really great opportunity for me to pass that along and to hopefully inspire some of our excellent students in the same way I was inspired when I was young. It's my hope that the things that we learn about the past through this work on Antarctica will help us better plan for the future. <laughs>